Hello ladies and gentlemen, today's video is going to be a little bit different. Rather than make a silly little gaming compilation with memes and sound effects and all that good stuff, or talking about a current event that makes you wish Thanos was real and would snap half of humanity out of existence, we're going to be talking about Infinity Ward's upcoming Call of Duty Modern Warfare reboot. I'll be honest, I'm pretty excited about the game. It's said to support cross-platform, have a brand new engine that has much better graphics than any other Call of Duty game, and... Well, this is kind of sad, but zombies won't be in the game. Although, to be fair, zombies have been absent from every Modern Warfare installment. But that's not what we're here for. You read the title, you saw the thumbnails, you know what this is going to be about. We're going to take a look at some of the speculation around the new game, and how it's supposedly going to be edgier and darker than Modern Warfare 2, specifically the No Russian mission. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Modern Warfare 2, or at least you haven't played it, I'd recommend getting a copy of it for yourself. You can get it for about $20 on Steam, which is where I play it, or you can get a used copy for a cheaper price somewhere like GameStop or a thrift store. Either way, it's a great game that I definitely enjoy, and if you enjoy military-based shooters, I think you'll like it too. We're going ahead into spoiler territory, so... Uh, sp spoiler warning, I guess. In No Russian, you play as one of four Russian terrorists who are plotting an attack. When you arrive at the airport filled with civilians, you and your group... Uh... Am I allowed to say that? No, I don't, I don't think I am. No, I'm not gonna risk getting banned. No, fuck off. I honestly don't think it takes a rocket scientist to figure out where this plot is headed. And if you really can't figure it out, God save you if you ever see a group of armed Russian men stepping off an elevator at your local airport. According to an article from Kotaku, Ars Technica reports that half of the campaign will unfold from the perspective of an Arab soldier, a female rebel fighter named Farah from an unnamed country that might be Afghanistan. Per the report, the new Modern Warfare is aiming for a more brutal, morally gray approach, with an extended sequence set in Farah's home at his as it is terrorized by Russian soldiers with civilians and even infants in peril. Something you should remember is that No Russian is the only mission in any Call of Duty game where you take the role of the enemy. Not that that's what's happening in the reboot, but endangered if infants is definitely a huge step up from Russian terrorists attacking an airport. Now you might be wondering if there's other games that exist that have any content even remotely comparable to Endangered Infants, and unless you've heard of the original Postal from 1997, you may be surprised to hear that there is. Postal is an isometric top-down shooter developed and published by Running With Scissors in 1997. The game put you in control of the Postal Duke, a psychologically damaged maniac who felt that the world was after him for seemingly no reason. In the final level of the game, which I believe was cut from the 2016 remaster Postal Redux, the dude approaches and attacks a group of school children at an elementary school as they play during recess. Unsurprisingly, the dude's weapons have absolutely no effect on the children, which leads him to have a psychotic breakdown and fall unconscious. This is where that game ends. This is the only scenario in gaming I could find that comes any close to infants being put in harm's way. Although they weren't even infants, however, that doesn't mean there isn't a relevant comparison here. One other scenario I could see be this being similar to is hatred. You know, that Polish postal knockoff that had a bunch of people freaking out about the gore and the violence before the game released, only to be a huge disappointment at launch because it didn't live up to the hype it created. Yeah, that scenario seems unlikely, seeing that Call of Duty games have always lived up to their hype, at least in my opinion. But you never know, that's why you have to wait and see what the gaming question has to offer before they make any assumptions. With that said, guys, I want you to take these claims with a grain of salt. I don't doubt that Infinity Ward could be doing that with this reboot, because it's very possible. But then again, the only time I remember any children being harmed in a Call of Duty game was the truck explosion cutscene in Modern Warfare 3. But then again, that wasn't really a choice for the player to make. What do you think of these claims? Do you think the Modern Warfare reboot will live up to its hype, or do you think this will be another hatred situation? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and if you didn't, well, you know, that's your choice. The links to my Discord server and Mixer account are in the description as always, as I am very active on Discord. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you all next time.